Hello. Right now I want to talk about reinforcement and punishment. Reinforcement, of course, encourages a behavior to happen again. So if a behavior is followed by a reinforcing stimulus, that preceding behavior is more likely to occur again. On the other hand, punishment makes a behavior less likely to happen again. So it discourages the behavior. Now I need to add positive and negative to those. So positive is adding a stimulus. Negative is removing or taking away a stimulus. So positive reinforcement. You are going to add a a pleasant stimulus to the situation that is going to encourage the behavior to occur. You're going to add a pleasant stimulus that makes the behavior more likely to happen again. So you're adding a pleasant stimulus and positive reinforcement. Yes, Johnny, that's such a good job. I'm so proud of you. I'm adding a pleasant stimulus that's going to encourage Johnny to do good again or give the same response again. For instance, 2 plus 2 is 4. You praise that. Positive reinforcement. Johnny's learning to add. Uh, negative, right? You're going to remove a stimulus. In the case of negative reinforcement, so you're encouraging the behavior. This is reinforcement. It has reinforcement in the name. So negative reinforcement there is already an unpleasant stimulus present. When the organism engages in the correct response, that unpleasant stimulus is removed or taken away, and so the individual is going to be more likely to do that behavior again. Right? So we used an example of electric shock coming up through the bottom of a cage. The rat jumps a little shuttle barrier in the middle of the box. The electric shock goes off the rat is going to be more likely to jump that barrier again. Or we gave some other examples. You know, an unpleasant stimulus is already present, such as my utility bill, which I hate to pay. It's an unpleasant stimulus. If I recycle, 5% of my utility bill is deducted. I, you know, so part of that unpleasant stimulus is removed. I've been negatively reinforced for recycling. Then punishment, right? Positive punishment. You're adding a stimulus that's going to discourage the behavior from happening again. So in positive punishment, you are going to add an unpleasant stimulus that's going to discourage that behavior from happening again. Spanking, adding physical pain to discourage the organism from doing that behavior again. Spank the kid when they misbehave. Theoretically, you're going to be less likely to misbehave in that way, but yeah, no, we'll just go with that. Or telling them off, adding emotional harm. You blankety blank. I won't say it in the video. Uh, then let's see, negative punishment. So in negative punishment, you're going to remove a stimulus. But this is going to be punishing for the organism and make them less likely to do that behavior again. So in negative punishment, a pleasant stimulus is already present. When an organism engages in a behavior that you don't like, you're going to take away or remove that pleasant stimulus from the organism. So the example, the most terrible example in the history of humankind, I said in class, Take away the teenager's self. <gasps> pleasant stimulus. Oh, such a pleasant stimulus. You take it away when they get that bad grade. Right? You're trying to punish them and discourage them from getting bad grades. So you're removing a pleasant stimulus. Negative punishment. So that's uh, just going over positive and negative reinforcement and positive and negative punishment. I hope this helps.